What's up, my movie and TV lovers? How y'all doing? Welcome back to the channel. And today we have a delectable treat for you as we embark on a mouth-watering journey through iconic eateries that have both blessed our screens and our taste buds. But here's the twist. These places aren't just fictional settings. They're real tangible restaurants that you can visit today. So grab your favorite movie snack, sit back, and let's dive through the journey of cinematic dining. Transporting ourselves into the magical realm of Harry Potter, we arrive at the Leaky Cauldron, a pivotal location in Diagon Alley. Now while you can't access the Leaky Cauldron, you can enjoy a tasty meal at the Warner Brothers Studio Tour in London, where they've faithfully recreated the iconic wizarding establishment. Experience a touch, yeah, of Hogwarts magic while indulging in a meal fit for a wizard. The attention to detail in this recreation is staggering. The crooked sign above the entrance, the stone walls adorned with wizarding newspapers, every aspect of this transports you into J.K. Rowling's enchanting world. Enjoy a meal amidst the magical ambiance and marvel at the wizardry that brings leaky culture to life. From a life of crime to a life of long-term friendship, we find ourselves in the central perk from the legendary sitcom Friends, okay? Now, this is a place where Ross, Rachel, Monica, Chandler, Joey, and Phoebe spent countless hours is incredibly real. You can visit a replica of this Central Park coffee house in Singapore's Central Mall. Now imagine just sipping a latte, just like the gang did, while soaking in the nostalgia of this iconic show. The Central Park replica is a labor of love for the fans. It replicates the quirky atmosphere that the show exhibited. From the orange couch, to the brick walls, to the iconic stage where Phoebe serenaded the gang with the smelly cat. This is like walking into your favorite episode. Breaking Bad Enthusiasts, don't get too because Gustavo Fringe's Los Palomas Hormones is not just a TV set, but a real life eatery in Albuquerque, New Mexico. That's what I hear y'all doing right now, running to that location. Go, 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 go. <laughs> and guys, I know what you're thinking, but don't worry, there's no insolicit activities going on there, okay? Just some finger licking good chicken. And I want some right now. Whew. The Real Los Palomas Harmonis is in fact a Twister's restaurant with a facade transformed to look exactly like the one in the series. Now the attention to detail is uncanny. With the vibrant signage to the menu offerings, this place pays homage to the real show. Now whether you're a fan of Walter Wright's escapades or just love a good chicken meal, this place is a must see, a must visit. I'm gonna go right now too, let's do it. Our flavorful adventure begins under the sea with Krusty the Crab from SpongeBob SquarePants. Now you'd be amazed that this amazing fast food joint is not confined to the depths of Bikini Bottom. It actually exists. Located in the heart of Ramallah, Palestine, the Krusty Crab offers fans a chance to dine like SpongeBob and his underwater friends. Okay, now do it with me. Picture yourself savoring a Krusty Crab in the colorful and whimsical setting when the line between reality and fiction Excuse me, I was just there. Moving on. There's more to this story. The owner, Abid Armand Karut, is a big fan of the show. Super fan, you would say, of this show. Okay, he worked meticulously hard to recreate the restaurant to resemble the one in the series. Complete with the signature anchor, life buoys, and the infamous menu items such as the crusty patties and crusty dogs, this immersive experience is a SpongeBob fan's dream. Soak it in and you go visit this place. Now let's venture into the mysterious town of Twin Peaks. Fans will instantly recognize the Double Art Diner where the cherry pie and the damn fine cup of coffee flowed freely. But did you know this real life version of the diner can be found in North Bend, Washington? Bet y'all didn't know that. Some of y'all are like, what, how, where, when? Type it up. You're welcome. 
Imagine stepping into the world of Twin Peaks as you get a nice savory slice of cherry pie and you sip on a hot steamy cup of coffee, just like Agent Cooper. The Real Double R Diner offers a menu that mirrors the one in the show, giving fans an authentic experience. Now how about that? The interior with its distinctive checkered floors, rustic furnishings, and vintage charm transports you straight into the series. It's not just a meal, it's a journey into David Lynch's enigmatic world. From the world of stand-up comedy to the world of fast food satire, we find ourselves at McDowell's from coming to America. The McDonald's spoof was actually filmed at a Wendy's in Queens, New York. It's a fascinating example of movie magic to location scouting, learn the lines between reality and fiction. When you visit this Wendy's location, you'll notice the unmistakable presence of McDowell's. The staff uniforms, the signage, even the Big Mick burger. It all pays homage to Eddie Murphy's comedy classic. That being said, it's a delightful fusion of two worlds bringing laughter to every visit. Our culinary journey now shifts to Seinfeld, a classic sitcom that featured Monk's Cafe as the backdrop to countless humorous conversations. Now, while there is no real Monk's Cafe, there is a real world counterpart located in New York City called Tom's Restaurant. It's a pilgrimage site for fans of the show where you can enjoy a nice meal in the footsteps of Jerry, Elaine, George, and Kramer. Now Tom's Restaurant, also known as Tom's, is an iconic diner on its own. The interior and exterior remain unchanged from the show, giving you an authentic Seinfeld experience. Now whether you're there for a hearty breakfast or a slice of marble rye, Tom's welcomes you with open arms. Our journey through the iconic cinematic restaurants takes us back to high school with Saved by the Bell and the beloved spot of Zach, Kelly, Slater, and the gang, The Max. And while there's no real The Max, there is a pop-up diner in Chicago that has occasionally recreated this iconic setting. It's a nostalgic trip for fans of the 90s teen classic sitcom. And let me tell you guys something. I used to watch this show with my sister every day, every morning. If we didn't catch it in the morning, we'd run home from school and watch reruns in the afternoon. I, I just love this show. So I, I mean, I want to go to Chicago and maybe check this one out. The Max Pop-Up Diner faithfully recreates the vibrant atmosphere of the show. From the neon lights to the vintage arcade games, the boots, milkshakes, it's all a nice, delightful throwback to the 90s. If you ever dreamed of sharing a burger with Zach Morris or drinking a root beer float like Lisa Turtle, man, this pop-up brings those dreams to life. Guys, prepare your taste buds for a nostalgic blast from the past as we revisit the quirky Good Burger from all that and Keenan and Keel. Good Burger remains fictional. Occasionally, you may see a pop-up shop of the Good Burger that will emerge in Los Angeles here and there. Rumor has it. I heard it somewhere. I don't know. I heard it somewhere. It's a blast from the past as you can relive the hilarity of the 90s comedy sketch show. The Rugged Burger pop-up is a celebration of 90s nostalgia. The decor, the menu items, and the orange color scheme all pay homage to the wacky world of Keel Mitchell and Keenan Thompson. It's a place where fans can really immerse themselves in the catchphrases, the humor, and the zany antics of the beloved show. And there you have it, our 10 iconic TV and movie restaurants that are actually real, each with its own charm and unique connection to the worlds of fiction. Which one would you guys visit? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this cinematic culinary tour, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and ring that notification bell so you never miss out on our pop culture explorations. Until next time, I'm your host, Adrian Edwards. Happy dining and happy watching.